Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite trilogies, and it's one of the few times I enjoyed the movies more than the books. These three films won 17 Academy Awards, which is more than the Marvel, Harry Potter, and Star Wars franchises combined. So it's safe to say they did a lot right. They also committed one of the worst crimes a storyteller can make, and it happened in the prologue. The goal of the heroes is to keep Sauron from getting the One Ring, but the prologue shows that even if he gets it, he can still be defeated. And worse, it shows victory can come while lying on your back with a broken weapon. This information hits us on a subconscious level, and it lessens our worry about the Fellowship's overall success. The fact that we care at all is only because of the relationships between the characters. This is one of the secrets of manipulating your audience. An easy way to get people to care about your characters is to show other people caring about them. Monkey see, monkey do. Information should be earned. Don't limit the emotional impact by forcing it before it's ready. There needs to be a reason that your story starts on the day it does. If your story begins before your protagonist is even alive, then you're telling the wrong story. All heroes see the present through the lens of the past. And this is true in story because it's true in us. But that past should never be before they're born. My advice to beginning writers is to avoid all flashbacks, dreams, and prologues like the plague. Why? Because it's never a good idea to pull your hero from the story. This is also why screenwriters should never write beyond the middle school level. You never want your reader to pause out of admiration of a well-crafted sentence because it takes them out of the story, and anything that takes your audience or hero out of the moment is a mistake. And never, ever show the antagonist losing before the journey even begins. The good news is that this trilogy shows you can be wildly successful even if you fail to understand the very basics of storytelling. Is that the bad news? There's only one story. There's only one person in that story, and that person is you.